It's Groundhog Day, and I'm here at the Lutz Children's Museum in Manchester, Connecticut, where Molly, a.k.a. Chuckles the Seventh, will give her prediction today on whether there's going to be six more weeks of winter or if spring is right around the corner. The official Groundhog's Day ceremony in the state of Connecticut was held at the Lutz Children's Museum. The center routinely holds programs for children from the ages of 2 to 10 years old, including hands-on exhibits and live animals. There was a media frenzy and a packed house on hand as everyone wondered what Chuckles would predict. There was also a new Chuckles this year as Chuckles the Sixth passed last year, so Molly, who came to the museum after a minor car accident, stepped in and was honored to become Chuckles the Seventh. Bob Eckert, the executive director at the Children's Museum, organized this year's event. He then explained only one person has the ability to understand Chuckles. When elected mayor of Manchester, you're suddenly endowed with the ability to translate Groundhog. It was a beautiful winter sunrise, and at 7.03 a.m. exactly, Chuckles arrived to make her prediction. Sarah Wilby, the animal curator at the Lutz Museum, helped Chuckles out of her hole to see what she had to say. Then Manchester's mayor, Louis Spadaccini, leaned in to listen to Chuckles' meteorology report. What's your prediction, Chuckles? Your what prediction you see is, the whisper says, Are you Chuckles, sure? otherwise known as Molly, says now, waiting to say You're going to make me the bad guy again. Oh, no! <laughs> Unfortunately, Chuckles has seen her shadow, which means it'll be another six weeks of winter. The crowd was disappointed to hear we will be seeing a lot more snow this winter. Molly was not the only youngster spending her first Groundhog's Day at the museum, though. We were hoping that spring was just around the corner. It's his first Groundhog Day. He's seven months. Well, it appears we're going to have to keep the winter jackets out a little bit longer and keep the chimney stocked with firewood, as Chuckles has predicted another six weeks of winter. Reporting for the Journal Inquirer and local online news, I'm Greg Gallivan.